my dear friends, welcome to Series English. My name is Antonia and today we're going to study a new phrasal verb group. We're going to talk about carry today. First of all, carry away. It can have a more or less literal meaning, well, to remove forcefully. This is more or less understandable, logical, but it can have some other meanings which are not that obvious. For example, it can mean to cause to lose self-control. Usually in this meaning we are supposed to use carry away in passive. So I am carried away. So something makes me lose my self-control. Or it can also mean to delight somebody or to enrapture somebody. Also in passive. An example. When I hear somebody speaking German, I just get carried away. I stop talking. Ich führe ein paar interessante Untersuchungen des quantenmechanischen Interferenzeffekts nach Ahar und auf Bohm durch. Gerade teste ich die Phasenverschiebung durch elektrisches Potential. Well, so let's continue. The second phrasal verb for today is to carry off. It can also mean to remove forcefully. And once again, this is more or less a um, literal meaning. But carry off can also be understood as to win or to handle, to manage something successfully or to cause to die. The project was really challenging, but she carried it off beautifully. Moving on to the third verb, which is to carry on. This is probably the most popular idiom of this group, phrasal verb group, with carry. So to carry on actually means to go on. So these are synonyms. To carry on is to continue what you have been doing. So carry on watching my video, carry on studying English. Excuse me, could mm -hmm. you help me please? Mm-hmm. What? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, just carry on. The phrasal verb number four is to carry out. You might have already heard it, no wonder, because this one is also quite popular and used very frequently in the scientific area, in scientific articles and uh, magazines and uh, letters, correspondence, um, speaking. And so in science it's used a lot because, for example, you can carry out an experiment. So to carry out means to accomplish or to complete. So, to carry out an experiment, this is kind of a set expression. It's used a lot. Usually, what do you do with the experiment? You carry it out. So, once again, to carry out means to complete, to make, or to accomplish. An example. To carry out this experiment, first of all, you need to start speaking with this woman. This is step one. And the last phrasal verb for today, number five, is to carry through, which means to complete or enable somebody to endure, like help somebody to go through something or to support. An example, the money you've lent me will carry me through the week. So I will be able to live for a week using your money. You support me and that's why the money you've lent me will carry me through the week. Keep in mind that phrasal verbs are part and parcel of the English language. They are one of the most difficult, challenging, complicated topics of the English vocabulary. You are supposed to know them at least the most used ones if you want to understand English speakers easily or you want to speak profoundly yourself. And that's it. So these are the most popular phrasal verbs with carry.
and the ones which you should pay special attention to are carry away, carry on and carry out. These are very popular. They used a lot and very often. That's why make sure to remember them. So I hope that you found this class useful and you are going to use these phrasal verbs or you're going to understand them easily if you hear them so you won't have problems. So I hope to see you soon. Continue studying English with me, carry on studying English with me and I hope to see you soon in my other videos. So happy English and Russian practice! Bye bye! P.S. Do not forget that I have the second channel where I teach English in Russian. So for Russians who start studying English. Check it out if you want and see you guys! My dear friends, just yeah. moving on. Ciao, dancing.